All right. So I'm going to try to show you guys how to use Parallax Gen and the settings I use for PBR and my mob lists and all that for like wads. Uh, it's pretty easy. First thing, you just obviously install Parallax Gen. Go here, create an empty mod. I already have it named, but you just PG Patcher. Can't type output. And then hit OK, but I already have it. <coughs> and this mod needs to be disabled when you're generating Parallax Gen. So if you already have it, you can just open an explorer and delete everything that's in there except for the meta INI. And I. And then just run PG Patcher from MO2. This will pop up. And since I only use PBR, that's all I have selected because it's just you know, there's no reason. And the hair flow maps, I use those too because you, you can grab those on the hair specular mod for CS. Look pretty fancy. And the subsurface scattering, I use it. I mean, it's like, I don't really, I haven't really looked too hard for a difference, but it, I'm, I'm sure it helps. And then here, I think, I think when you install PG Patcher, it just defaults to zip output. But if you make that mod, you can just copy paste the path here and then just leave it so it just spits out the whole thing into a mod. You can enable it, it's pretty easy. And after you start, it just does all this. It'll yell at you for, you know, some meshes. I don't know. You can usually ignore those unless you, I mean, you probably shouldn't ignore them. That's probably bad advice, but I do just because I know it's fine looking for stuff that doesn't exist. And then here you got, I think this defaults to lock to MO2. I, I don't use this just because it's easier to order. Um, so I use Skyline PBR as a base, so the, that's on the bottom, and then I let all this stuff overwrite it because they conflict, like they have the same textures. So then you just kind of put them in order as to what you have in MO2 to a point, unless you start getting complicated with it, like I do kind of, but I won't get into that. And then landscapes, generally I always put landscapes all the way at the top just because it's easier and you know they're everywhere so if there's any errors you'll definitely notice first and then just okay run it and for lods too if you're doing this without regenerating dindolod just disable Dindolod before you generate Parallax Gen, and then keep Text Gen Output enabled. And you should be good to go. And then when this is done, I'll try to show you like how to patch the new PG output into an existing Dindolod output. If you're lazy, like me, it's just easier to do. done you can hit open output location if you want it just shows you the mod and then when you have it to where it doesn't zip the output it'll just spit it into here every time and then you can just refresh mo2 and it's there and just enable it and this one is flagged as an esm so i just put that at the bottom And this one, I'll put that at the bottom as well. And then when you enable your LOD again, just throw those underneath the PG one. And then throw this one right here. Oops.
and then for conflicts I'll make sure I don't have weird settings okay you just want to open X edit then select the none scroll down PG1 ESP and Dyndalod I'm pretty terrible at explaining things so if this if you need if you have questions just throw a comment in under the video I'll try to explain better or remake the video if that helps as well that's a mod group I ignore that and then here if you have a small load order you can just right click and then apply filter to show conflicts and then that'll just go through I think it goes through everything regardless of what you have loaded in here but either way it just takes forever for me because this list is so huge so I'm just gonna leave that and then open PG1 right here go to static and the green ones in this case are good they're fine they're patched you go to model right here expand it and then you can see like the conflict issues that come up are going to be Dyndalod will have an old texture path so it'll use the wrong texture for something and that'll be the conflict so you go here yeah, it's just record header stuff so that's fine mountain trim that's fine these are weird ones embers if you if you're ever confused just like expand it out a little bit and read it as it says it's a conflict but it's not it's intended it's the same texture volcanic tundra gravel so that one's fine yeah same thing clutter wood yeah same it's fine should be one conflict stockade here's one is it yep here's one so this is literally all you have to do to patch these conflicts with Dyndalod like the visual ones I don't think they get much deeper than that here when you generate it, it it's a new path so the order is different or whatever you know so you can literally just take this drag it over this and you're done it's patched And then you can just check through everything, all the red. And then again, if you're confused, just read the names. And they're generally fine. So this PG sometimes like puts them in another uh, file path. So yeah, it looks all good. That's pretty much it. You're basically just going to statics only and going through it and checking the textures and seeing if they match like that one was female cloth and stockade wood so obviously it's just not going to look right and then just save and you're done and then for lods i'll just show you my settings i won't actually run it because that takes forever For LODs though, you want to make sure before you do LODs, if you're using Parallax Gen, you want Parallax Gen output enabled and done before you do this part. Because Texture will pick up the PBR stuff and you know do its magic with it. I don't really use anything fancy here, just DXT5, DXT1, you can go up these you know you see seven if you want you can leave this stuff as it comes or change it I use these as well because I use HD like ultra tree lot I think it's called and I just kind of I think I got these from somebody but these settings work pretty well for me so you can either use the bone stock text gen settings or copy these it's up to you <laughs> Dined a lot. 
Uh, it's a little more, a little more work. I'm dumb. Hold on. I gotta enable text trim. Oops. So yeah, obviously text trim has to be enabled. On here, you can expand this, it's easier. Just make sure you know basic all your world spaces are covered. I use Dragonborn's Fate lot settings, which I'll toss a link below for that, but I kind of tweak them a little bit just for you know quality, I guess. And then I stick with high the high preset, just click that, it'll load the rules. And then scroll all the way down here to tree. I use level zero, which is ultra. And then I change these two to billboard four, just because it's, uh, I think it's billboard one has four triangles, billboard four has eight, I believe. So it's just a little bit better looking. And then everything else you just leave. And then here you right click tree, click insert, type mountain, visible when distant, and then these I do level zero, zero, one. And then this level 32 is for the map, which I don't I don't use. There's other guides for that if that's what you're doing, but this is what I use, and then just hit far lod. And then okay and then that'll put that rule right there and what that does it just takes makes the mountain lot look a little better generally a good thing to do and then all these settings are from dragon dragonborn's fate which i'll link below which you can copy they're super good game runs fantastic with it but yeah that's it Super easy. If you have questions, just comment. I know I'm pretty terrible at explaining stuff, so hope it helps.